Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Mythic Mobs tutorial. Before I get started, there's a few things I want to talk about, so if you do not want to see any of this or listen to any of this, I will add a timestamp in the video to where you can go ahead and skip to to actually get started with the tutorial. Now, what I want to talk about, first off, I apologize for the lack of tutorial videos. I realize that I have not put one out for a while because these past few weeks I've basically been on the road a lot, as well as dealing with some other stuff in real life, but I am going to make sure to get back into the tutorials. Secondly, I was messaged the other day and it was brought to my attention that some of these do not quite work the same in 1.13+. plus. So that being said, I'm going to let you know, the game mode I am using right now is 1.12.2 and I am using Mike Mobs pre 4.5 builds. Now this is going to play a big difference because a lot of the stuff has been changed in 1.13 as well as 4.5 and further. So if something is not working right, I probably haven't taken the time to figure it out yet, but I can guarantee you that at least most of the stuff that I do will be compatible. If you're ready to get started, let's jump into the tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the consume mechanic. This mechanic is basically a combination of heal and damage. Let me go ahead and open up my mob file and I will show you guys uh, some basics and three ways to use this that are, you know, any other way that you would want to use it. And as always, I have my own mob set up already, so if you don't already have one set up, please feel free to. You can copy this template if you so choose. Do know, however, this is just a mob that will not move, will not really attack. If you want it, you can use it. First skill with the consume mechanic I called Carnivore, and it's going to use it on itself whenever it hits a player, so on attack. You can use on hit. But I prefer to stick with on attack because on hit can be kind of buggy sometimes and activate as if it was on damaged as well, which is not what we want. Off Carnivore. This is an on hit mechanic as mentioned, which means it will activate, at least for now, every single time a player takes damage from this mob. So what you're going to want to do, add a cooldown of one second to it. If you do not add a cooldown of one second to it, you will end up with something like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn that back to one. And now another thing I added was a player within distance equals two true condition. The reason for this is because if you use on hit, there is a chance it will fire again. Maybe I've just had some weird circumstances, I don't know. I've had it happen to me before in the arrow volley tutorial, I do believe it, I actually left the video footage in there of it. But this will make it to where it will not do that if you somehow get hit from farther away. I think it's just a nice little failsafe to have just in case. Now, as mentioned, the consume mechanic is literally just a mix of damage and heal. You're gonna have your damage value, you're gonna have your heal value, and you're gonna have your ignore armor value. If you have ignore armor set to true, then this damage is always going to do one and a half hearts of damage to you. Now one thing I want to add, uh, add on, have its base damage value set to zero. That doesn't mean it's not going to do damage, this just means it's going to do the default damage that a zombie would normally do. So one thing to keep in uh, consideration is if you do on hit abilities like this, pay attention to what you set your damage number to because that is basically like this. So this is going to do heal equals 3. It's going to heal itself every single time it bites me. So let me go ahead and reload this. And as you see at the top, I have its health bar to display what its health is at. Right now it's currently at 96. To show you how the heal works, as you can see it hit me twice because that is how it's set to do and its health went from 96 to 99, healing itself for 3 health. Very simple, straightforward mechanic. Let's go ahead and go on to the next version of the skill that I use. This one I called Feast, and this is going to eat uh, specific types of mobs around it. I recommend making it mobs and making them specific because if you do entities in radius instead of mobs in radius, there is a chance that it will as well eat players if you are using pre 4.5. So, to avoid that, we just use mobs, and we set its damage to a thousand. The reason for this is because this is supposed to be for boss-based, or boss-style mobs, 
So of course you wanted to kill all its minions instantly so it can get health back. It just wouldn't make sense otherwise. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to go ahead and give myself a sword so that way we can get this going a little bit faster. Enchant, smite, five. Alright. <clears throat> so let me make sure I got it activated. I do. And that, um, I forgot to mention I made another mob here. It's just a little, uh, it's just a little minion. Doesn't actually do anything, just like this one. Um, I have it set to on interact, so that way I can make sure it's controlled. Uh, normally you're gonna want to add this in a random skill with on timer. Same with, uh, same with this one. We'll go over this one shortly. But if you uh, haven't seen my random skill tutorial, I will have a link to that in the description below. Same with my arrow volley tutorial in case you were curious what I was talking about earlier. So, feast. Eats all minions in a radius, dealing a thousand damage, because of course you're not going to have minions with more than a thousand damage. Or health, I mean. It just doesn't make sense. So, and it's going to heal for ten for each one it eats. So what we're going to do, let me reload here. We're going to get its health down quite a bit. Okay, so you can see it's at 40, so let me go ahead and spawn in some of its minions. Uh... Okay, so I spawned in four little minions, and when I right-click on it, as you can see, it killed them all and it got its health back. So, we're going to go ahead and get its health back up all the way, and boom. Full health, insta-killed its minions. I think this is very helpful for any sort of boss. If you decide to make a giant as a boss, I think it'd be really cool to have it just eat up a lot of different zombies around it. That's just me personally. Or you can just have a zombie eat baby zombies like I had. Your choice entirely. But that is another use for the consume mechanic. Now this last one, uh, I called it Engorge. And this basically is going to be a finisher skill. There's unfortunately no way to, uh, well, I should probably back up. <laughs> There's no way to make it track a player's health. I wanted this to be an execution style skill, so that way if a player was under a certain amount of health, it would kill the player instantly. However, this is not a option as of right now because there is no player health condition. So, again, or as mentioned, I put this on a timer uh, just in case because I think it's a pretty cool skill to have. And just like the last one, it does a damage of a thousand, but this time it heals for 20. And I added a couple more uh, mechanics so that way it'll use it a few times over just in case it misses. Um, it's going to repeat itself four times, and it's going to repeat at an interval of one second per 20 ticks, which is one second. Um, so it will use this skill five times. Times. Now let's go ahead and show you what it'll do. This is a very dangerous skill, so I do not recommend throwing this on every mob you make. But, it, like I said, it makes for a really nice execution skill. So I'm going to go ahead and walk up to it. I'm going to punch it, just make sure it's working. And look at that. Insta-killed. Got its health back. Very, 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 very dangerous skill. Now if you're going to use it in the way that I used it, I highly recommend keeping your player within distance uh, condition because otherwise uh, you don't want to be way out here and just get insta-killed and wonder what the heck happened. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this tutorial and have any questions or anything you would like to ask, feel free to, feel free to comment in the comments section below or message me on Discord. I will leave that in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this inspires you a lot, and I can't wait to see what you all come up with in the future.